Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And we last we left off, we thoroughly explored Dr. Marcel's shrine to his son, Alfred, and managed to find an item that allows us to tempo morph to the past. The homework ledger, which contains some of Edna's handwriting. It's here that we're hopefully going to learn how to forge signatures, though it's going to be more complicated than last time, because we only have control of Harvey. We've looked at almost everything that we can in the classroom, except for Edna herself. Let's see what we can glean from looking at her predicament. Edna looks unhappy. That she does. And we can actually drag her as a conversation topic. Let's look and see if we can get any more information by right-clicking these. We get information from right-clicking everything here. Why not these? Why did I have to recall this sad memory? We do get some information. Interesting. This is something I didn't try in the first Tempo More Thing experience. Let's go through everything from right to left. I think Edna is afraid of Mr. Hornbush. It's pretty clear that she is. I'll have to get Edna out of here somehow. Maybe she has an idea of her own. We'll have to ask her about that. Edna used to like this skull in particular. Why that skull? And why is there even a skull there? Edna could never stand math. It does look rather complicated. I should go on a world tour with Edna. Good idea. First, you have to get out of here. Maybe Edna is interested in exploring hidden island realms. Possibly. We'd have to find somewhere with them first. Edna knows a few great ways to insult the ugly frog face. It's probably not a good idea right now. I wonder if it can be of any use. It probably can. Let's start using all of these on Edna, starting with herself. How are you, Edna? Shh. Later, Harvey. We're going to have to try and figure this out alone, it would seem. Maybe we can get a clue or two if we use the other items. Mr. Hornbush reminds me of the fish Mattis gave you for Easter. Shh. Later, Harvey. You flushed it down the toilet. <laughs> Mr. Hornbush! Edna is snickering again! Pull yourself together, Edna. We're going to get into a lot of trouble. Alfred's going to tattletale on us for the slightest noise. There's something to that. We gotta get you out of here. Shh. Later, Harvey. We're not gonna get much dialogue with these topics. Maybe the skull will provoke more dialogue. Do you remember the skull? Shh. Later, Harvey. No, it didn't. Math is god awful. Let's skedaddle. Shh. Later, Harvey. I commend you for using the word skedaddle. But we didn't make any headway there. We should venture out into the world! Shh. Later, Harvey. This is going to be quite a long later. Unless we can do something. Let's go on a treasure hunt! Shh. Later, Harvey. What about Alfred? Look at that idiot! <laughs> Mr. Hardbush! Edna is snickering again! Pull yourself together, Edna! Why is this a class with just two students? That's something I'm only just thinking about now. There should be a lot more students than just Edna and Alfred. Hmm. Let's try the note. What does that piece of paper say? Oh, it's a note from my father. He just forgot to put marmalade on my sandwich again. Oh. Interesting note. Let's look at the whole. Ooh, there's stuff in here. A letter. There's a letter in Mr. Hornbush's coat pocket. Let's drag that to here. That could be useful. It's really handy that the cupboard has a peephole in exactly the right position. It gives you a perfect view of everything inside. Let's go back and try these topics on Edna. Starting with... We'll start with the hole. It seems less important. There's a hole in the cupboard. Shh. Well, she knows now. 
Hey, Edna, I spotted a letter in Mr. Hornbush's coat pocket. I'm sure it's part of a conspiracy. Shh. What conspiracy are you thinking of, Harvey? Because I can't think of one. Let's look at the window. Oh my, there's lots of stuff here. Let's look at all of it, starting with the sun. Don't go blind, Harvey. As a note, don't stare at the sun, people. It's not good for you. This is the warmest day of the year. Everyone who doesn't get out today will have missed the best day of summer. We don't want to miss the best day of summer. Let's put that down there. And look at the pond. The water looks inviting. That it does. The Ferris wheel's next. This can't be true. There's even a Ferris wheel. I've never really been on a Ferris wheel before. With my fear of heights where it, I could easily fall, it's probably not a good idea. That ice cream parlor didn't used to be here. They seem to have completely new flavors. How much of this is actually true and how much of it is just a fabrication? I don't know. A merry-go-round! There was never anything like that in the village before. I'm starting to think some of this isn't true. I didn't even know there was a circus in town. We'll put that there. And then there's the playground. Hey, there's a new slide at the playground. It must have been built very quickly. And then there's out. Let's try these topics with, uh... How do we actually get out of here? That is an interesting question. Ooh, there we go. We can do it like that. We can't do it at the bottom of the screen because it interacts with the bar. Let's try these topics. What do you think of the sun, Edna? It's quite handy. Edna! 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 It's the warmest day of the year today! Oh no. And I have to sit here pushing numbers around. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again, and I can't properly concentrate on my assignment! Edna Conrad, you keep interrupting the lesson. I'll give you an official warning. On the third warning, I'm putting you in the cupboard. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. It will, because we're going to keep showing you things. Like the ice cream stand. Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a new ice cream parlor. Do they have Blamange ice? From the looks of it, they've got everything! Oh, I'd die for an ice cream. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again. And I can't properly concentrate on my assignment. I have to ask you to behave, young lady. That is the second warning, Edna. Interrupt the lesson one more time, and I'll put you in the cupboard. I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. You said that last time, and yet it happened. Though to be fair, it was Harvey's fault. And also, you're really keen to tattle on Edna the moment she says anything. I'm just commenting on that. We'll show you the playground next. Edna! 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 They have a new slide at the playground! What? I've got to go there. I can't risk anyone breaking my record in slalom sliding. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again, and I can't properly concentrate on my assignment. Edna! That's it. Enough is enough. Into the cupboard. Come on. Move it! But... No back talk now. And now she's in the cupboard. I'm gonna put the note here, just in case we need it. I get the feeling this one's gonna be important. Actually, I can pretty much just drag everything onto here, so why don't I just drag everything here again? We do have a lot of spaces, after all. We can't put Edna here, though, so let's walk to the hole. Hello! She looks unhappy. She's very unhappy indeed. Now, we could show her the other things, and why not? Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a circus in town! 
Great. Thank you very much. And I'm stuck in a cupboard. Indeed she is, and she really doesn't sound pleased. Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a merry-go-round outside! Great. We're gonna get the same reaction for all of them. But what about the letter? Can you reach the letter? Sure. Hmm. I can't make out anything. It's much too dark in here. That it is. But if we get you out of here, you could read it. Or if we get you to put it through the hole. You could pass the letter through the hole. Then I can read it for you. Good idea. This is incredible. The letter is from Dr. Marcel, addressed to Mr. Hornbush. The doctor is paying him money to hold you back in school. And he stresses that under no circumstances are you to be allowed to leave class early. Especially, and this one's underlined, when the weather is good. I can hardly believe it. Obviously, Dr. Marcel has been carrying out a personal vendetta against me for a long time. He'll pay for this. This all seems a bit illogical to me, but I've seen it written in black and white. We'll get to the bottom of this eventually. You sure that you're not misinterpreting this? You might be. Also, I want to get those uh, topics back that I uh, used before. I'm not sure we can. Hey! Oh no, we can. We just have to do uh, that. We have to get the dialogue and then use it. Let's get the circus back. I did. There we go. And the Ferris wheel. This can't. There's even a. We can't seem to get the. Oh, we can't get the Ferris wheel back because we've already got it on the bar. And we can't get the pond back either. I think we pretty much got everything back. Now what we need to do is we need to get you back out of there. Hmm. I want to go back and get the letter on our bar. And then... Can't get you... She looks unhappy. We can't get you on the bar. Maybe we can use Alfred on... No, we can't use Alfred on anything but Edna. So... Let's see if that will do something. Alfred is an old snitch. A snitching frog. <laughs> That's not going to help. She looks on. And I want to get that back. Because I need to find a way to get you out of here. We could just open it, but that's probably not going to work. So let's try the other things. Let's go on a treasure hunt! Wouldn't I have to get out of this cupboard first? That you would. Let's try using Mr. Hornbush here. This might work. Maybe you should ask Mr. Hornbush to let you take part in the lesson again. I can't believe that you, of all people, would say that, Harvey. Why? We can wreak more havoc that way! That, of course, is true. Mr. Hornbush! Ah, that got you out of there. Marvelous. We do have more things that we can use on you here, like the circus and the ferris wheel and the pond, which is probably going to get you into some bother. Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a circus in town! What's that you say? A real circus? Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again. I can't properly concentrate on my assignment. Edna Conrad, you keep interrupting the lesson. I'll give you an official warning. On the third warning, I'm putting you in the cupboard. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. I wanted to see if there was any different dialogue for us having gone in the cupboard and then starting to cause trouble again, but it would seem not use these two here and inevitably get thrown back into the cupboard. Edna! 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 There's a ferris wheel outside! No... That's impossible. I saw it! That's not fair. Not fair, not fair, not fair. 
Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again. I have that interrupt. I'm sorry. And there's the second warning. Finally, the pond. Edna, Edna, Edna! Swimming season's begun. Oh, I'd like to go swimming too. Mr. Hardbush! Edna! And I Edna! That's it. Come on! But. No back talk now. And back into the cupboard she goes. We're gonna have to get her out again, but that shouldn't be too tricky. Considering that we can just get her immediately- ah, I forgot to, uh, get Mr. Hornbush here on the bar. Considering that we could pretty much ask immediately to be let back into the class, this isn't really much of a punishment, is it? Maybe you should- I can't- Why? That, Mr. And back we are! Now, can we use this letter on you now? Or we could use it on... Can we use it on that? No, we can't. Can we use this now that we know that the signature's there? Hey, Edna! I spotted a letter in Mr. Hornbush's coat pocket! I'm sure it's part... Shh! Okay, that's not going to work. And we know that the note is about the sandwiches. Isn't that your father's handwriting on the note? Yes, why? It's just a little memo about my sandwich. Well, how about we create our own little note for Mr. Hornbush? In your father's name! You mean, we'll forge his handwriting? We'll just borrow it. After all, you have plenty of time in here to practice it. Or did you have other plans? Hmm. You're right. This really sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll even manage to get out soon enough to enjoy the weather. There we go. That's how you learned to forge signatures back then. You got so good at it that after a while you could forge anyone's signature. Just by looking at it. Yeah, I think I could still do that. I really hope this is going to help me. This classroom is not exactly what I call one of my favorite memories. Indeed. And also, did you notice that the word signature there didn't have an E? But now we have a new skill. Counterfeit signature. With the toenail. If there was a strange signature on there, I'd start to worry. Why? Because you were naturally growing signatures on your toenail? I've got a talent for forgery that can hardly be matched by anyone. No thanks to this useless cup. Aw, oh, but I thought the cup would be useful in that regard. Oh, no signature to forge here. She sounds so disappointed about that. No, at best I'd only be able to use the fork's handwriting for Morse code. And only for the letter H. It could still be useful. Oh, no signature to forge here. She really does sound so sad about that. Oh. Same for that one. What about here? There's no signature on there yet. I should find a way to change that. Indeed. We know where we can find a signature. That's odd. No signatures anywhere on the box. Indeed. Perplexing. Hey, there really is a signature printed there. The author must have used a very thick calligraphic quill. As soon as I have one of those quills too, I'll learn his handwriting. And then I'll order edible underwear on the internet using his name. Man, this Mr. Kellogg will be mad as hell. That he will. Right. Let's see if we can find a signature on the ketchup. I don't know this, Heinz. And I don't want his signature either. Indeed you don't. Mustard doesn't write. Mustard gets somebody else to do that. Not surprising. What about the potholder? Nope. No signature on the potholders. We did doodle on them. You sure ours isn't there? Captain Useless can forge his own signature. Nobody else can do that. You know, that's not forgery when it's your own signature, right? I have the tools, and I have the talent. Indeed you do. Mallet? 
The pen is mightier than the sword, but my mallet is mightier than the both of them. Not surprising. What about one skill with another? If there was a strange signature on there, I'd start to worry. Can we forge your signature, Harvey? Thanks for teaching me how to forge signatures. That's okay, but don't get any bright ideas about using my checkbook. Wait, do you have a checkbook? I actually haven't spoken to you for a while. Hello, Harvey. Hello, Edna. What's up? There's nothing to talk about. Oh, nothing. Forget it. Fair enough. Now, what if we try to use you with the book again? We've seen everything I know about it. Well, I learned quite a lot. Did you? You didn't seem to be learning very much in my class. Finally, let's try and forge your signature, Poozy. Stop that. I was expecting that. I know where we can find a signature. We have to head upstairs. Quite a ways upstairs. Over here. Round the corner. And into Dr. Marcel's office. Because there is a diploma on the wall. I bet we can use that to forge a signature. Okay, I think I could learn to forge this signature. Some time later. That should do it. I can make an exact copy of the signature now. Oh my word, I am grinning so wide. That is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I thought she'd just use some paper. But I suppose walls are just as good. Oh my, is Dr. Marcel going to be really, really mad? And we can use Dr. Marcel's signature on anything, like the toenail. No, this is my toenail. But you could sign it, and then it will be worth so much more. Whoops. Instead of writing on it, the pen has poked a hole into the cup. Bad pen. Bad, bad pen. That means we're going to need to get... No, we're not going to need to get another cup. Fortunately, we still have that. I can't write on the knife. You're just not trying hard enough. Darn it. The ballpoint pen won't write on the fork. Oh no, this foils my whole master plan. Mine too, though we did get to hear the darn it again. I still can't believe you wrote on every single surface here. I bet you also wrote over here as well, and on the fourth wall that we can't see. You're really dedicated when it comes to learning signatures, Edna. Just use paper next time. Actually, no, what am I saying? Don't use paper next time! Use all of the walls. Use the fireplace next time! And the desk, and the floor! Let's use the signature on the key. What's missing here is one of those keychain labels. Indeed. What about the pot? Too bad. My pen won't write on it. Alas. We're going to avoid using the item which we're obviously meant to use this on, which is the form, and instead sign the cornflakes. No can do. The whole space is occupied by colorful lettering. Darn. What about the police badge? I don't need a police badge here. This is the handwriting of a dangerous criminal, all right. Oh? What about the ketchup? This bottle is a property of Dr. Marcel, Dr. Furloons, tyrant, connoisseur of smoked sausage. He likes smoked sausage? How do you know that? Do you peek at his menu choices at restaurants? This bottle of mustard is property of Dr. Marcel, Dr. Furloons, Tyrant, connoisseur of smoked sausage. I do like that there are two different lines for each of them. It's always a nice touch. No, these are my potholders. Indeed they are. What about the comic book? Captain Useless can forge his own signature. No. We've seen that one before. What about the pen? Can we write on the pen? I have the two. We cannot. Can we sign the polo mallet? No, this is my mallet now. Indeed it is. Can we sign Harvey? I can forge Dr. Marcel's signature now. Cool! Let's declare war on the Russian Mafia in his name! Let's not and say we did. 
Finally, let's forge a signature on the form. Very good idea. I'll just sign the form with Dr. Marcel's name. Marvellous. And now we can use that to go into that therapy session that we saw before. Also, it's now a new item, a signed form. One can register for therapy with this blank form. Dr. Marcel already signed it. So it's no longer blank. Aha! We've solved a number of puzzles and got a slightly different inventory item. And this that technically isn't an inventory item. And this that definitely isn't an inventory item. And when we come back, folks, it's time to doodle Dr. Marcel's name absolutely everywhere. I doubt the game's going to let us, but I sure hope it does. It won't. But I can dream. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.